Have you ever forgotten your Windows password? In this video, we will look at using the CHNTPW program to remove your forgotten password so you can log back in and set a new password. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so you can wake me up before you go go. Even if you keep your passwords to your many accounts on post-it notes, it's pretty common that you will forget one of your passwords. But don't fear, you don't have to reinstall Windows or use other tools to copy out your files. We can use the change NT password or CHNTPW program to reset that password. First thing we're going to do is shut down the Windows machine. And when I say machine, I'm talking about a physical machine or a virtual machine. In the case of a physical machine, once it's shut down, I'm going to insert the Kane bootable USB thumb drive and then reboot the system from that USB. In the case of a virtual machine, I'm going to modify the VM settings to add the Kane ISO as a live CD slash DVD and then boot the VM from that ISO. Once booted into Kane, launch the terminal window. The thing we need to do is to find the partition that the C drive in the Windows machine is installed to. So I'm going to start off with the lsblk command, lsblock. And on my system, I know that slash dev sda is the system drive and that sda1 is the system partition. So next thing we need to do is mount that partition so that we can make changes to the Windows SAM file where the password resides. And because Kane is a forensic distro, it automatically ensures that your drives are read only. So we're going to have to use the block dev command to see the current status of those drives. So sudo block dev dash dash report. And you can see here for SDA and basically everything else, they're all marked read only. So then we are going to have to set the Windows system drive, which is SDA, to read write. So I'm going to do sudo block dev dash dash set rw and then slash dev slash sda star. And now if we do block dev report again, we can see that sda itself and sda1, sda2, sda3 are all now set to read write. Next, I'm going to create a mount point to mount the Windows system partition and then mount the partition itself. So sudo make dir mnt usb. And now we're ready to mount the partition. I'm going to do sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 to slash mnt slash usb. Next, let's change directory into the location of the SAM file. So we're going to cd into slash mnt slash usb, right? Because that's where the system drive was mounted to. And then usually on a C drive, the SAM file is under Windows slash system32 slash config. So once we're here, we can do an ls-l on SAM star. And we can see all of the variants of the SAM if they're present on the system and then any logs. So now we're ready to use chntpw. I'm going to use the dash i option to run in interactive mode and then tell it which hive to load. So chntpw dash i and then sam. The change nt password program will now run and show us its interactive menu. It confirms that we have the sam hive loaded and then it gives us a few options. Option one is to edit user data and passwords. Option two is to list the groups, which could be of interest to you. And then option nine is for a simple registry editor if you want to make manual changes to any part of this registry. In this video, we're primarily interested in passwords, so I'm going to select number one. Once I selected option one, change NT password will show us the entries in the SAM hive. In my example here, I have a few system accounts, admin, default, guest, WD, AG, utility. And then I also have two user accounts, Blue Monkey Forensics and FOR585. Because I forgot my password for the Blue Monkey Forensics account, I am going to enter its RID, 
which in this case is 3EB, 3 Echo Bravo. And once I enter the account RID, change ND password will show more information about that account, such as the groups that account belongs to, the number of failed login attempts, the maximum tries, the total login count, etc. And here we're presented with five options on what we want to do with the account. We can clear out or blank out the password. We can unlock and enable a user account. We can promote the user to an administrator. We can add the user to a group. And lastly, we can remove the user from a group. These are all possibly useful for you in the future, so make mental note of the abilities but we're here to clear out the password so we can log back in. So I'm gonna select number one. The program will verify that the account password has been removed. And since I'm done, I'm gonna quit. Make sure you say yes to writing the hive, otherwise the changes won't take effect. Now I can unmount the partition and then shut down the system. So I'm gonna do sudo umount slash mnt slash USB. And then I'm ready to shut down the system. So I'm gonna do shutdown dash H now. Now we can reboot the machine back to Windows to see the effect. In a physical machine, remove the bootable USB from the machine and power it back on. In a VM, remove the ISO under the settings for the disk and then start the machine. The machine should now boot back to Windows and automatically log back into Blue Monkey Forensics account, which doesn't need a password because we blew it away. So once you're in, we can actually go ahead and give it the three finger salute, which is Control Alt Delete to invoke the Windows security menu. And then go ahead and click on change a password. And in the old password box, just leave it blank. Fill in the new password box with uh, your new password and then same password in the verify new password and then we can go ahead and log out and log back in to make sure that we are actually asked for that newly created password and that's pretty much it for change NT password for more videos on forensic tools included in Kane make sure you watch these videos here or if you're interested in learning about Windows Forensics, watch these videos here. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.